Uh, well, what I love about the Water Summit is that it's bringing the United States Chamber, uh, the country of Israel, but most importantly, the state of Arizona as close together as uh, possible. And so many things bind us to, together. So many people think of the relationship between the United States and Israel as simply one based on security interests. And that's incredibly important and that needs to continue. But actually, if you want to support Israel, probably the number one thing we can do is help support its economy, its economic uh, success. It's done so well in terms of being a startup nation and entrepreneurism. That's very similar to what we're doing here in the Arizona economy as we build a more diverse, sustainable, long-term economy based upon innovation. And they have water challenges, just like we do here uh, in Arizona. And Israel has had an incredible amount of success with their water planning, uh, working with diverse interests that sometimes don't get together to make sure that they have a strong, consistent water supply. One area that they've succeeded in is desalinization. That is part of the long-term plan to help resolve some of the long-term uh, water issues here in the, in the uh, uh, state of Arizona. Low water usage, uh, uh, taking advantage of farming interests but doing it in a, in a utilizing less water. That's something we could learn from here in Arizona as well. So we have so much that brings us uh, together. The success of Israel is important to the United States of America. So this is an important conference. Why wouldn't I be here? Well, I think the truth of the matter is Arizona is behind some of our neighboring uh, states and we do not want to um, not be a team as we enter these negotiations with the federal government on the future of water in the southwestern uh, part of the United States of America. So it's the classic case of everyone can fight for every single inch of their, of their interests and we'll never reach agreement. Or we can all realize that we need to put on our big girl and big boy pants, compromise, do what's right for the long term for the state of Arizona, knowing that by compromising and coming together, it's for the greater good of our uh, of the people of Arizona and for our economy and compromise will lead to great things. And so I think that's the process that's going on. There was the early rounds, I think there was a lot of scowling at each other. Wait a minute, you're taking away this or that uh, from us. But the realization is uh, we are stronger together. Everyone needs to compromise. We seem to be moving forward in a positive way. I wanna do everything I can as a member of Congress to make sure that uh, the plan that was put together by the interested parties stays together once it gets through the Arizona legislature and, uh, and through the United States uh, uh, Congress. There won't be any second bites at the apple, if you will, uh, through the federal process. Israel has an amazing, unique, and spectacular history, as does Arizona. But in terms of a modern economy, Israel's a young country, and it's building a modern economy right before our very eyes. And they don't have a lot of natural resources. What they have is people power, brain power, entrepreneurism. Uh, it, the, the human resources of the country is their number one strength. That's exactly our strength here in Arizona as well. We have a spectacular history, particularly with our Native American uh, communities. But as a growing and large economy, we're pretty new. 30 years ago, we weren't nearly the size we are now. Phoenix, the city that I was mayor of, is now the fifth largest in the country. Arizona has one of the largest populations of any state in the United States of America. But that's all happened in the last 20 or 30 years. We had an economy that was overly based on real estate. Now we need to have an economy that's based on innovation and building an export-based economy. Same with Israel. Plus, we live in the desert. Guess what, Israel has very similar uh, climate as well, and they have water challenges. So they are dealing with a lot of the same um, economic challenges that, and opportunities that we here are in Arizona. Of course, the big difference is with Israel is that they have everyday security concerns for the safety of the, of the people of that community. And that's why both as a state and as a country, we have a huge interest in being the strongest partner we can with Israel, both from a security perspective from an economic development perspective, and now from a water planning uh, perspective. So it's a unique relationship because we have so much in common.